Good, okay. Uh, let us uh, learn a speech of the Lubavitcher Rebbe. We'll figure out what to do with the Torah portion in the Chumash this week. It seems that last year I didn't really do it in such an organized way, so I thought I would just put up what I did last year, but all right, we'll figure some sort of a solution. Meanwhile, let's just do this for half an hour or so, and then if I have to post the... Um, Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. We'll see. told us Yitzchak ben Avram Avram modlated Yitzchak. It says in this week's Torah reading in the beginning, these are the generations of Abraham. Abraham gave birth to Yitzchak. Shtelzik the the part of the Torah. The commentators in the Torah ask a question. No, then via state after it says Zeilot told us Yitzchak ben Avram. It already says. These are the generations of Yitzchak, the son of Abram. It's to leave us. Why do you have to tell us and Ibrahaz are in retreat that Abraham gave birth to Yitzchak? If Yitzchak is the son of Abraham, so obviously Abraham is his father. What do you have to repeat it over again? Huh? These are the generations of Yitzchak, the son of Abram. Abraham gave birth to Yitzchak. The Gomorrah the, the Gomorrah says. <clears throat> What does it say this here? Baba Matsya. The Gomorrah Baba Matsya. The Gomorrah tells, tells us at Sulib Denvas Havaya Ohio call the Umas Aulam that all the non Jews were all scoffing. And they were saying, Allah Umas Aulam, Abam, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And they said, I'm sorry, as Yitzchak is Nit Avram Zazon. What how old was Abraham when he gave birth to Yitzchak? hundred years old. And Sorrow was 90. Obviously, there's some sort of a trick is trying to be pulled over here on us. It can't be that he had a son. Therefore, the Rivishtu. So what did God do? God gemacht them oiser oizen from Yitzchak, the appearance of Yitzchak, Panim. Genui Erlich, exactly similar to Panim for Avram from I Abraham. Of an Olakazen, so everybody saw. As Yitzchak is a kin from Avram, so everybody saw that Yitzchak is Abraham's son. That's what it means in the sentence. The sentence that, therefore, he repeats it over. This is the generations of Yitzchak, the son of Avram. In other words, Abraham was saying, this is my son. As vile, it says, but Avram will lead his Yitzchak because it says, was of them, as a bavis, this is an indication, as Allah ben Doroif Edus. So everybody said, oh, now we see that Abraham, he's the one that gave birth to Yitzchak. Because <clears throat> their face looked exactly the same. I don't know how... <laughs> Abraham's face looked. I mean, there's no pictures or anything. Or, but nevertheless, the, the rabbis say that, that that explains why it says this, you know, very sort of strange repetition in the Torah. It says that's the reason why. It says these are the generations of Yitzchak, the son of Abraham. And everyone that looked at him said, oh, Abraham gave birth to Yitzchak. Because their faces look the same. Huh? First explanation. Second explanation. The Midrash, the Midrash says, Avdem Yitzchak netar Avram, Avram netar Yitzchak. Says the Yitzchak, he was crowned with Abraham, and Abraham was crowned with Yitzchak. What does that mean? Sa Yitzchak ben Avram, un Yitzchak had zich gehoi geruf ge, excuse me, well, ge croint. They both of them were crowned with their father. With with the I'm sorry with the other one. Right, look, a father he's very happy. He's, he's got a baby boy. He gives out cigars. Right, it shows that he's uh, the father is a man and he's got a family now and that he's accomplished something and he has a son. Everybody says congratulations. Everybody slaps him on the back. <clears throat> and everybody says, "Wow, your son." And the same thing with Abraham. Abraham was crowned. With Yitzchak, Yitzchak was a crown. Yitzchak was a crown for Abraham. And the same thing, Abraham was the crown for Yitzchak. Everybody said, see that boy over there? You know who his father is? 
that is Abraham. Oh, everybody said, wow. So both of them were crowned with the other. And Abraham molded Yitzchak. Therefore, it says twice that Yitzchak was the son of Abraham, and Abraham gave birth to Yitzchak. Abraham because Abraham was crowned. The glory of Abraham was that he was gave birth to Yitzchak. That's sort of understandable. Even to this day, the Arabs they call the last name. I don't know. If, I don't not that acquainted with it, but nevertheless, they coin it. They, the last name of their fa of their family is on the firstborn son. Abu Yitzchak, Abu this. Abu means the father of. Right? The, the Ashkenazic Jews, they were crowned with their son. Right? There, there was the son. Uh, so the first, what is this? Mirashvili or, or Jacob's son. Right? I am the son of Jacob. Jacob is my father. I am crowned with Jacob. Jacob is my father. I am Jacob's son. That's why his, that's his name is Jacobson, right? Except all these other names, right? Stephen's son, the son, I'm the son of. And with the Arabs, they crown themselves with their son. They say, right, I am not who is my father. I'm not the son of who. I am the father of somebody. So we see that there exists two ways that a father is crowned by a son and a son is crowned by a father. And by Yitzchak and Abraham, they were both. Both each was mutually crowned by the other one. And Hasidus, and his Hasidus explains, as the avoda from Avram, the service of Abraham was love, chesed, love. <laughs> and the service from Yitzchak was gavua, fear, power. Was yether from the, the avoda, which each one, each kav avoda, each one of them, side the avoda, whether you're serving God. From love, or you're serving God from fear, Here is Tailzich and Svei Kalalistik of Madrigus. This is in two general categories. Svei Madrigus, two levels of fear, and two levels of lower fear and upper fear. And there's what's called lower fear, uh, love and upper love. Okay, now we're, here we're talking about relating to God, right? Relating to God. So there's two ways to. Oh, oh. Excuse me. There's two ways. That you can have fear of God, and two ways you can have love of God. Two types. One's called a lower fear, and the other one's called an upper fear. Then there's a lower love and an upper love. How does it go? <clears throat> it goes, Yitzchak is fear, Abraham is love. So the sentence says, these are the generations of Yitzchak, fear, the son of Abraham, love. Abraham, love, gave birth to Yitzchak, fear. Okay, serving God. We talked about this before. We'll talk about it a lot as it continues, as we continue learning. But <clears throat> if a person does, is genuine, if you're genuine, you're doing with something genuine, so you have a value for the thing that you're working. Let's say you have a job and you're an auto mechanic. So you have a genuine value of fixing somebody's car. That's genuine. That's called love and fear. Love means that you're attracted to it, you want it, and fear means that you don't want to you don't want to mess it up. You don't want to wreck it, right? You have respect, if you want to call it. Love and respect. Abraham was the aspect of love. Lo but here we're talking about loving God. Abraham was loving God. <clears throat> and Yitzchak was fearing God, awe of God. Awe, awe, awe and fear of God. So there's two types of love and two types of fear. There's selfish love and, sel and unselfish love. And then there's selfish fear and unselfish fear. What's the difference? Selfish love means I love God because God does me all these good things. He gives me eyes, he gives me ears, he gives me a nose. God can take me up into heaven. God can do all these wonderful things to us. He took the Jews out of Egypt. He gave us the Torah. <clears throat> God enlivens the whole world. You have all these good reasons to love God. That's what that's called the lower type of love. What's the, the upper type of love? The other type, upper type of love is I love God because he's just so good. I don't care what he does to me. But God in his essence is so good. Forgetting about what I received. That was like Abraham. Total selflessness. He knew how good God is. And so therefore he did everything that God wanted from love. This is love 
not a symbiotic love where you receive anything. This is what we call pure love, the higher love. Because he valued God so much, so therefore he had pure love of God just because he's God, not because of what I get. Exactly the opposite. I'm prepared to even lose for the sake of love. You see that sometimes when people love the country, or love this. Okay, then there's also two types of fear. There's what's called the lower type of fear and the upper type of fear. The Rebbe's going to explain. I just want to make it clear. And these are necessary ways of relating to God because it shows that you really feel that God is real. If you don't feel God is real, then it's just like a religion, you know, which is, no, that's also, religion has its values also, right? Else is, it's its values. But there, in addition to having an experience, a relationship with God, which is above understanding and above any emotion, you just do, you know, you do the commandments. That's all. You just don't ask questions. You do the commandments. There is a certain advantage to that, but that can't be all. That's called a body without a soul. The soul is love and fear. In other words, when you really feel how amazingly valuable, incredibly precious that God is, and that he, how much he loves us, right? That he's creating us and he gives us eyes and ears. So we want to reflect a little bit of that love back to him, back to him. So that, that's, okay, so that, that, that's what we talked about, the two types of love. What about fear? There's lower fear and upper fear. Right? And just like with love, the same thing, lower love is selfish, what God does for me. And upper love is, I'm giving myself over to, to God. Then there's what's called lower fear. Lower fear is what God can do to me. Right? I mean, my hand, my life is in God's hands. If he wants to, any second, he can, you know, make me stub my toe or whatever. Anything that he wants, God can do it. And who knows what's going to happen in the afterworld. But right? that's called the lower fear. That you're afraid of God because of what he can do to me. Huh? Or what he can withhold from me, what God can do. Right? God says, you have, uh, I'm giving you power of ears. You need two ears? Oh, yes, God, I need two ears. No, you don't. Taking away one ear. Here we go. Hey, what'd you do that for? You want me to take away the other one? No, 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 no. Don't take away the other one. So that's called fear. Fear can, God can do anything he wants to. Okay, so God says, you better do what I want, or you're going to get a punishment. Go to hell. So that's what's called the lower fear. That okay, that works, you know, for a certain degree. It's good <clears throat> to, uh, you know, it's like uh, telling doctors that if they they don't uh, they get if they don't cure people, they cheat and they get a malpractice. <clears throat> uh, fine, you can go to jail. So the doctor says, "Oh, I don't want to go to jail, so I'll be I'll heal people." That's a stupid, terrible reason, but it's at least it's a reason. At least it's a reason that keeps them from hurting people. The same thing is in Judaism. You, you don't care about Shabbat. Where we care about eating kosher food. What do you care? But if you don't do God, you should know your hand, your life is in God's hands. Your future is in God's hands. Your bank account is God's hands. So, whoa, one minute. My bank account? No, you're messing around. Are you really serious? That's right. God has all the money. My life, I, I who cares? But my money, you're going to take my money? Oh, this is really serious. So that's called the lower fear. That's like childish. But nevertheless, it's, it's if it stops you from doing sins, okay. You know, if the only reason that this person is a good doctor is because he doesn't want malpractice, at least he's going to be a good doctor, or, or at least he won't kill people intentionally. Then there's what's called the upper fear. <clears throat> oh, the upper fear, that's the highest level of serving God. Upper fear. What? Why is it so high? <clears throat> It, 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 it's very hard to, to, to find a, a good example of this, but it says that in the Holy Temple that only the high priest could go in once a year. He, he, he could go only once a year, and it, when he was in, it was a very short amount of time that he was in, the Holy of Holies. Holy of Holies. Very short amount of time. And if he thought one thought, he would die. That's pretty severe. Why? Because we have no comprehension how precious and important that God is. We have no idea. Absolutely no idea. And that the power of the creator is infinite. So the lower fear is we think about what God is going to do to us. But the upper fear is the fear of approaching God's reality, going into the Holy Holies alone, and who's, I'm not, I'm not deserving, I'm not the, the high priest, 
That's called the upper fear, total, what we call surrender or harmony, or they say self-negation to God. Okay, let's do it. Let's read inside. There's a lower fear and an upper fear, and a lower love and an upper love. The two levels of love are represented by the two times Abraham's name is mentioned in the sentence. The two types of fear are two times Yitzchak is mentioned in the sentence. So it says, these are the generations of Yitzchak, the son of Abraham. Abraham gave birth to Yitzchak. That's what we explain. Uh, here we go. A more of this, the lower fear, it says, <clears throat> the Nidrik Samadriga, the lower fear, level of fear is, a more tzutan fear to do, kegan dem evishter, going against God, I'll to leave them onish because he might get a punishment for them hate for the sin. Or even maybe a more a more sort of refined selfish reason, right? They doesn't want to give miss out on the world to come. Or whatever. vile er had mora for them need good all the time when he's afraid of not good things. What's their hate which the sin could bring to him? Him that that's called. Lower fear. You are lower the upper fear. The hexra madriga, this is the highest level in fear, means fearing God's greatness. Erhat moratum shemtich, he has is ashamed for them romamus and groiskite from the greatness of God. Sutan epes do do a sin. Now, there's people, I've seen people, people that, you know, the they, they, on Shabbat, they don't keep Shabbat. They sit outside, they smoke their friends. All of a sudden, one of them takes a cigarette and throws it behind him. And he sort of moves away from all of his friends. And everybody says, hey, you know, Tzachi, what do you, what's wrong with you? So says, just keep it quiet. Just keep talking. Just talk, talk. So what was that? What, what happened to him? He goes, comes back to the group. So what happened to you? Why, why did you say that was my grandfather? He came out of synagogue. So what did you throw away the cigarette for? It was a good cigarette. No, I don't want him to know that I'm smoking. I can't. It's my grandfather. You know, I don't even want to know that I'm sitting with you guys. Grandfather. That's sort of like the upper fear. No, he's not afraid that his grandfather is going to shoot him or something or take him out of the his inheritance. He's not thinking about himself at all. It's just that his grandfather is such a wonderful person, and he feels that his grandfather is a, a genuine person. So therefore, it's called the upper fear. It's called shame. He's ashamed to do something bad. <clears throat> Thus, mean this means as er hat more he has fear for the sin itself. While er is kegan, the maybe it's against it's against God. I gave the example of his grandfather, but here's the example: he doesn't want to smoke on Shabbat. Why? Because God, God is so great and so wonderful. How can I go against him? That's called the upper fear. Azoi zayin oich da'ava. Also, this love. There's also two levels: big love and small love. Small love of a sutra. That means the cleanser madriga, the lowest level of love. This means that he has he loves God and he does what God wants because God will do something good either right now he enjoys it or he wants to be a part of religion. He likes religion. He likes wants to be in a group or something. Or afterwards he thinks God's going to give me heaven. God will help me. You know I have to marry my daughter off. So you know I don't want to mess get on God's bad side. That's what's called the good love. Good love. He likes God because of all the good things that God can do for me. Good begash means physical things or even spiritual physical things. But he wants to go to heaven. That's called small love, low love, selfish love of God. When I have a Robin, then there's another a second type of love, and that is the Hecha Madriga, a higher level in, uh, in love, is the Allah, whatever. One minute, I just lost the blade. Yeah, there's other eight. Sorry, just one, excuse me. Are there eight of the idler, or there's a more refined type of love until the ultimate level of spirituality is going to go to heaven, higher levels of heaven. He'll have a big understanding of the Torah up there. That's all selfish. That's what's called the lower level of love. But it's okay. It's, you know, it's loving God. It's just there's something much, much better and higher. When Ava Rabba, and then there's what's called a big love of God. The higher level in love 
is as er hot lib, he loves God, on tut and he does what God wants, shalom almanas the couple pras, not in order to receive any reward. Fear is punishment. Either he's afraid of getting punished, that's the lower fear, or the upper fear is the God's awesomeness. Right, it's awesome. It's that the person doesn't think about himself at all. Same thing with love. Lower love is God will give me some good things, but I want to get on God's good side. He'll do me good things. And then there's, or I appreciate all those God has given me, right? but it's all to himself, me, selfish. Then there's what's called the upper love. The upper love, and that means I love God just because of what God is. Not God is good to me, just God is so good. We are explaining that before. Nitzulib the good, not the good what he gets for when a Zoe, if you might say, just like Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, what they did is a sign for us in their avoid in this service from every Jew based on the Torah. The Torah tells us that there's two types of Abraham and two types of two types of love and two types of Yitzhak, two types of fear. That's what's hinted at, according to Hasidut, at the first words of this Torah sentence. These are the generations of Yitzchak, the son of Abraham, Abraham gave birth to Yitzchak. Two times it mentions Yitzchak and two times Abraham corresponds to these two types of fear and two types of love. Their Seder, Havoda, the order of serving God is in Bader. You have to do both. That first of all comes the lowest level, which is the, the simple love. I'm sorry. First of all comes, I'm sorry, the simple le level of love and the lower fear, really the lower fear comes first. When Darnach and afterwards comes the big love and small, small love. First of all comes the, okay, no, here he explains, sorry. When Darnach and afterwards comes big love and big fear. First of all comes small love and small fear, and then big love and big fear. V.S. state, like it says in the Gomorrah, La'olam, Yasaka Adam, a person should learn Torah, and the commandments, Afila Lolishman. You do it, do it for selfish reasons. You should learn Torah and do the commandments for selfish reasons. Do it for the wrong reasons, uh, selfish reasons, not 100% wrong, but it's not the best reason. It says, <clears throat> In other words, have the lower love and the lower fear. And then from doing the commandments from selfish reasons, Baalishman, you'll come to do the Torah and the commandments for the proper reasons. Because therefore, Veter Tsukum, you can come to a higher level, big love and <clears throat> big fear. And that's what it says in, the, in this Torah portion, the sentence. It says, <clears throat> the order, first of all, it says, Elu toldos Yitzchak, fear, ben Avram, love. Avram, Love gave birth to Yitzchak. <clears throat> he does his mabur like it's explained in great length in <clears throat> a lot of places. In Hasidut. When does is a horah, this is a teaching for every single Jew and serving God. <clears throat> that every Jew should serve God in all these ways. Love and fear. Appreciate how good God is and also how awesome God is. Avram and Yitzchak. You should have to serve God in the way of Abraham and Yitzchak. V.S. says, you do it like it's known, the explanation. There's only three fathers of Judaism. Avram and Yitzchak and Yaakov, Zion and Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, they are the fathers of every single Jew. In other words, they implanted in us the ability and the, how do you say, the tendency, the desire to serve God from love and from fear. When Zer Kavin, in Avoda, Darfa and Zion, every, every Jew has to have these ways of serving God. Good. As we will continue, God willing, tomorrow. Thank you very much. I'll put the Chumash up today. I have to look and see what's going on. And then I'll uh, see if I, I can put the Chumash up or if I can find what I did last year. Shalom, have a good day with Mashiach. Now, oh, oh, we have to do the Yom Yom. Today we had a, a power uh, failure. Huh? So the class ended abruptly. One second. The class ended abruptly because it was a power failure, but it was not a personal failure or a health failure. Here we go. The true way to know who you are, 
to understand really what are your deficiencies and what are your good qualities. That's what you have to do. First of all, see what the good things you have and the not good things you have. And when one knows your deficiency, when you know what you are lacking, right? You have a bad temper, you have a, you have a, you're, you're dishonest, you're, uh, how do you say, you're weak, you're, you're lazy. When you know what your deficiencies are, then you can correct them with service. And just not satis not satisfying with just oh I'm so lazy I'm so bad and then you think well that's it I recognized it and that's good enough that's good no you have to work on yourself and get e <clears throat> e eliminate your bad character traits have a good day with Mashiach now God willing see you all tomorrow at eight fifteen in the morning. <laughs>